it's interesting to be in America because we are living in a place where <clears throat> our parents have started over. I mean, depending on how many generations you've been here, they've kind of like, they've forgotten their past or when they've come from a like new start, new beginning, which is, which is it. It's great to an, you know, an extent, but there's something that I feel like a lot of us are missing because of that. We, we don't have strong rooting and because of that um young people are trying to find identity from the thin air <laughs> like <clears throat> and um in hawaii so i'm not i'm not hawaiian by blood but uh, my great grandmother was full hawaiian and she adopted my grandmother so my grandma was raised hawaiian and growing up oh wow learning a lot um from my grandma you know taking care of the land appreciating the ocean and the mountains and really <clears throat> being present, uh, have all been lessons that, uh, I've taken like, um, very much to heart, especially as I'm developing, <clears throat> you know, this barefoot practice. It's like, you know, <clears throat> the Hawaiians believe that. So the whole, a lot of people think that the Hawaiian people just somehow stumbled upon the Hawaiian islands and they just decided to live there. But no, they came from other parts of Polynesia. But to do that, <clears throat> uh, Polynesian had to, they were in the ocean and they had to, they, were, they studied the ocean so much, the tides, the currents, they see how the tides come off their island. And <clears throat> I think the story goes, you know, they're looking out at sea and they see a current tide, wave, I don't know, wave coming off of some distant land thousands of miles away. And they're like, there's land out there and we should go, we should go, you know, explore it. But to do that, <clears throat> as you're voyaging across the sea, you need to one, look ahead of the boat and see the tide or whatever coming off the land ahead of you, thousands of miles away and look behind you to know where you've come from or you get lost. And so <clears throat> this is the idea of forward thinking, but also <clears throat> knowing where you've come from. And I think a lot of people in America, they don't have, they just have the forward thinking. They don't have the like, what lessons have my ancestors passed on to me that I can <clears throat> uphold, honor, and respect and bring with me into the future. It's like we young people, we're just trying to reinvent ourselves from the thin air. When we think we're like amazing at that, but no, like a lot of the things we're learning like have existed for for a long, long time. And it's right. funny, like it, it's, it's hilarious to me. Like you see things like the liver King who, you know, and that's all another thing, but like, you know, do, living life more so like our ancestors and like people think this is, it's a new thing, but it's like, it's, it's a new old thing that we're just realizing has, is really important and crucial to our existence. <clears throat> that we've just veered so far off the path from. And I think about that, especially with parkour. Parkour is the same thing. It's like parkour, like the human body is meant to do, it's meant to climb, run, swim, defend, lift, um, and jump, you know? Those are like, those are our God-given abilities. Like that's what we're born to do. But somehow we live in a world where like, People only run. People run marathons. And that's great. I love that for them. Sure. Only climbing. And that's great. I love that for them too. People are maybe only jumping. Maybe they're doing track and field. But like to to move your body in a way that is encompassing at least the running, jumping, and climbing. <clears throat> we're the only ones doing that. Um, and it's like we've taken hold of something that we were meant to do and doing it in obviously the modern day world and urban environments. But I think what, at least what I'm learning now is like, we weren't necessarily intended to do that, like just in urban environments. We're intended to do that in natural environments. The human being, we're so unique in that we're the most adaptable creature on the planet. We can adapt to everything. <clears throat> so why are we not training more barefoot? Why are we not training more nature? 
<clears throat> and those things. Because if that's where our movement originates from, why would we not want to ground ourselves in those roots? And what I love about parkour is it's all basics. It's like the things you learn on your first week of training are the same movements you're doing 10 years down the line. You're like doing safety belt, combo. All those things are, you're doing the same thing 10, 10 years down the line. It's just the extent to which you're doing that, the level is different. So we had this idea of like grounding ourselves in our foundations, but somehow like even within parkour, we've missed that, oh, human beings are doing this like on rocks and trees and all this sort of thing. So, you know, after doing parkour, more or less, um, with shoes on for 13 years, like, and now doing it barefoot, I was like, wow, like I, I'm in touch. I feel in one in touch with myself to a whole other degree, but also in touch with something that is behind us, something that existed before us. And it's almost like humorous to me, like, you know, that I blew up because I, I do stuff barefoot. I'm like, you know, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. You know, <laughs> this has existed for a while. Um, I'm just, I just have like some experience of parkour and I'm doing it in, in urban and natural environments and that's it. <laughs> There's a lot of beautiful things you just said. I love the ancestor thing, looking back and looking forward. Cause I think you're totally right. What do we look back? What do we look back to as Americans? You know, I was born here. I'm in Oregon, born and raised here. I look to my grandparents. And I, my, I have an uncle and my grandfather have done a lot of genealogy stuff. So I know like, okay, my great, great, great grandfather immigrated from France and these people came from here or whatnot, but there's no grounding. There's no, like, even the culture in America is kind of, there's, there's not many real cultural elements. Everything is like, maybe there's a, 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 a Southern cultural element and a Northwestern cultural element or a California cultural element, but what do we ground ourselves in? And. I was in Oahu just a couple weeks ago, actually, mm -hmm. and I felt like I was in a different country. I haven't been to Hawaii in 30 years since I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel comfortable there because it felt so different. There was like a different energy. There was a different, and it was extremely positive, but I noticed that there was something different about the people there. It didn't feel like I was in the United States. It felt like I was somewhere else, and maybe you're speaking to some of the reason I felt that is because there's something about the culture that's that's deeper and longer lasting in Hawaii that still exists that yeah. doesn't exist in the United States because we're a 200 year old country and Hawaii is a much 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 older culture and a much older people for sure yeah like definitely like I resonate with that a lot I think Hawaii is, is definitely a very special and powerful place um spiritually in history and in culture and um, I think there's a lot that the world can, can learn from Hawaii.